First of all, don't call me a thief when you don't know what you're talking about, so let me educate you. A screenshot is always going to be a derivative work of the game's assets, so as long as those assets are copyrightable, the copyright owner has a copyright in the screenshot which, open brackets, in the case of warning order, open brackets, warn, oh, close brackets, close brackets, is the development studio Eugen Systems, and in this case also the publisher Eugen Systems. The screenshot creators do not own the produced screenshots since it is made fully possible with content that has been created by said developer and publisher for which they hold full rights. On top of that, I am a Dutch citizen which doesn't require me to ask for permission or credit anyone that takes screenshots for which they do not own the rights to. Even in the USA, the fair use doctrine in United States law permits use of copyrighted material without having to first acquire permission from the copyright owner or creator if sufficiently modified, which it is in this case. But since my business is officially registered in the Kingdom of the Netherlands, I am protected by the described laws from before. Ergo, I don't have to, and the screenshots I use do not have any disclaimer that the producer of said screenshots wants credit, and even if they did have a disclaimer, it has no legal power. Saucy. Two minutes ago, brackets, edited. Alright, <clears throat> here we are again. We're playing against Nibble, a good Russian player. I believe he's Russian because he does that smiley face thing. He might not be. Hopefully he's not... Ukrainian because then then he'd get very upset if I called him a Russian. I might just cut this whole introduction out actually because whenever you talk about the war people get very upset. Um, bonsoir. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll cut it out. You never saw this. Oh, please says no. But he is a good player, so it's going to be a close game. So that's good. Hopefully he says no. <laughs> Sacha, 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 I've got a great excuse, I've got a great excuse why I can just play the best division in the game. I missed it in its heyday, but its heyday seems to be back right now with this this AT and Forest change update. For those of you who don't know... <laughs> <laughs> what a champ. So basically all AT had their aim time increased to 2 seconds, uh, infantry AT, but the auto cannons are still 1 second. So you just drive this AMX 30B2 through the forest and you just blat everybody and there's nothing they can do about it unless they get RPG 29, which I actually don't think he gets. 30 knights get that, but 70 knights don't. So he'll be probably playing Charlie and I want to play Bravo as much as possible because my infantry is better than his. Um, we can't let him build up a cohesive blob of T80BVs because once that happens, uh, it's, it's GG. You know, 5e, OP, but not invincible, particularly on these more open bats. Sorry, somebody asked me if my tier list was right. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, so I'll cut that whole part out. I'll cut this whole part out. I'm just such a good editor. So AMXs um, might be worth and then one up here. Although, you know, if he's got any, if he's got three brain cells to rub together, there'll be somebody here with a, like a Milan team or something. Um, but I might actually beat it there. That's a really funny part, right? So let's try that. And AMX on this side. Just, the, the thing with 5e is that it's just got every single tool in the game, apart from super heavy tanks. And so you could just do some wacky shit, man. Look at this. I'm going to come down here. Um, and, you know, we might actually see a CV as it goes from here to here, if that's what he's going to do. 
And yeah, we need Milans to shore off his tanks, but yeah, there's no need to overinvest at the start. It's probably not going to be too much here. Um. Chocolate Eclair is obviously great because of the AT option. If I can just sneak one of these all the way around here, that's cool. Open Alouette. So the th interesting thing with 79 is that they've got great... Uh, <laughs> they've got great AA. So 79th is an S tier division. It's just not an I'm broken tier division. So, you know... You, um, it's not like he's going to have a difficult time. Uh, where can I put this where I can actually shoot people without getting shot at the start? I think here's probably good. We could use Roland in that forest. Uh, could we? Minstrel might be better. It's like hit a helicopter. Yeah, because if he opens a double AA helicopter, we're actually going to have some serious issues. Which is what I'd do. I'd open A10. No, no, SU-25. Two AA helicopters. So I'll get this. Should I? Is it worth it? Uh, yeah, I think I need it. But then that that sort of messes me up a little bit. I don't actually have a whole lot of points for the ground game. Can we get one of these? Could get reservist spams, obviously. Not bad. So, reservist here. Reservist. Probably won't get that far. Here. Just to shore this up, make sure we don't lose it at the start of the game. Get another reservist. Here. What could we get for our 45 points if not a reservist? Good luck, have fun. Oh yeah, I've got this Commandos. This is probably not a good idea. Ah, whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot. These guys are going to go the other way, so that was a bit inefficient of me. <laughs> At least he's a good sport about it. Right, so we're going to listen to the ground because we're French. We need to hear the rumble of the German tanks so we can... Reserve. Uh, reverse? Reserve. Wow. I don't hear the helicopters. I don't hear the helicopters. I'm so cool listening to the sounds. I'm like David Attenborough. Except... French. I don't actually hear any helicopters. Interesting, interesting deployment from our opponent. Maybe I'm just bad at listening, because I, I don't usually do it, because I'm not usually French, but now I'm French. Uh, maybe I've laboured this point enough. Oh, there was one. Bad ear moment. So that's just a recon helicopter. You can tell by the leisurely way that he's uh, moving forwards. Oh, okay. It's a transport. It was a transport. So he went MiG-23. So that's the thing, right? So the MiG-31 is good. It's very expensive. Sp Oof. Damn. Messed me up there. Don't worry, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Despite all my rage, I am still making minimum wage. So, could you use some Rollins, like a Rollins here maybe? And uh, a bit of the old recon. Because yeah, once we get here, would be cool. Probably get CV up there as well, but first we need some, you know, infantry. This would be good. Another AMX, perhaps. And uh, yeah, he probably thinks that he killed me, but he didn't because, you know, gaming. Um, but I am dead now. Don't see any baddies. Interesting. 
and chest the pawns go first. The group anti char obviously hilarious for blowing people up. We disagree with you. It is interesting that the, the command tank was here, so is he going to send that all the way around to here? In which case my AMX will actually lose that fight. But then I can just get a Jaguar and, you know, Jaguar ATGM kill him with that. That's weird. It says you're in range. Must be something to do with the angles. There that thing is. I was wondering when he'd show up. And none of my AA is here. I don't know where I put it. Let's... Um, yeah. Cool. Oh, no. Oh. I'd say it's lucky, but he did hit me. I just survived. <laughs> and now we're gonna, we're gonna try and get out, and hopefully it works. But it might actually not. He might just shoot us in the back and kill us. Yeah, look. But it depends on the range. We might get out of range before... What? What? Why did you stop? What a clown game. And he missed as well. Such a bizarre... Oh, dear. I just don't understand that. You'd be out. You'd be off scot-free, but... And yet. And yet. So the Spetsnaz Groove will win that fight because of the sniper. Uh, let's get another round, I suppose. And yeah, ATGMs are the aim of the game here because we cannot fight him in the, uh, in the open. He just has the best stuff, right? This man's dead. I should have got him out of there straight away, but because he's a reservist, I just didn't really care too much. Um, yeah, and we're building up our, our plight over here. Not sure that's the right way of saying it. Oh, that'd be a good place for one. It's interesting that he never capped his back zone. I guess he's not played the map that much, because, you know, you, you do kind of need that. Let's get some, uh, some Voltigues for over here. And can finally buy the CV for over here. Uh, need some more infantry over here, really, don't we? Clear, hot, go hot. They never used to say that. I think that's a new one. Yeah, we do need to retreat here. He's got more here than me. Because obviously I'm over here. So the thing is, that if he was to send a CV, it would come in this way, right? So let's go that way. And yeah, the the snipers, snipers, just everybody gets them, right? So everybody suffers from this. Look, he gets them as well. The SS Vintress is classed as a regular sniper, which is <laughs> firing its 9mm rounds. Pew pew pew, 1400 meter range. <laughs> 1 HE doming guys. Imagine the bullet drop on that. Imagine how how low. Oh dear. Miss. This one should hit. Mm, okay, we're getting a bit unlucky there. What what are you? Okay. Oh, okay. Right, well, let's find out how much AA he has. Make 23s, but I should beat those. Oh, I, I'm not getting the turn off properly. Oh, his missiles both hit. That's quite lucky for him. Obviously not for me. Just get out of there. The roll three should mess this guy up. It's one minstrel over here, I suppose, is now necessary. There you go, see. Um... Yeah, I'm very surprised by these... What the hell's going on here? Everybody's just monging out. Because these guys could shoot this guy before. Is he on the floor? It's just a build into the trees, I suppose, whatever. Right, time to start stacking these good tanks. <laughs> That's right, dear viewer. I have not forgotten how to win game by Hippie. Is that on the floor? No. So you would expect one hit, and one hit we get. There it is. <laughs> oh dear. What a joke. 
And then we, yeah, I'm pretty sure I could just out outrun him. Oh no, oh, that was a mistake. So yeah, the MiG-31s, once he gets both of those up, it does become very, very not great for me. Um, so I've lost two jets now. But this is weird, he shouldn't be doing this. This is really bad from him. If he loses that, it's game over. He needs two. He needs two to shut down my... Uh... Yeah, so he gets it out, so good for him. And uh, over here, we're, uh, we're losing. <laughs> To an extent, I mean. What's, what is he doing? <laughs> so, you know, for those long-haul flights, the helicopters are actually pretty good. Is he going to hit that? Okay, I mean, he was low cohesion, but... He's he's playing a risky game. I mean, he's getting quite lucky so far, but as soon as that stops, you know. That's weird. That explains why he took so long to show up. They both missed. They both missed twice. What? That's 50% accuracy on four shots. That's 200% chance to hit. And it missed. It does happen. It does happen. Once these guys rock up, things are going to start getting a bit easier for me. I'm going to try the cheaper one as well. Oh, that's exciting. I think we're going to have to get this guy out of here. No, not you. Please. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Nice, nice. Let's get this guy in this building, that would be peak. Actually, you know what, let's just try... Oof, no, 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 I need to kill these guys. Let's get this forward to get this to kill that. Get you over here. Uh, HE bomb is obviously great when they're blobbed up like this. Even if they even if they don't fully kill the units, they are still very useful. I, I do actually think that they're good as they are. The inconsistency is frustrating, but apart from that. And look at these two. Why didn't I buy them earlier? Just cleaning everybody up. Oh, yeah. Motor Strauki BMP do get very good AT. He needs to get that out of there. Oh, wow, okay. But now he's flying over two minstrels in a row, and, and eventually, yeah, because you remember he got lucky last time. Shame, really. Uh... So we know we know that his mig is down, right? Is what we just witnessed. BTL sixty might swing that actually. Whoa! Blimey! What are you doing? It says he's in the map. I don't see him. It's back there. Dragon Paris destroyed. Yeah, so he's pushing me out over here. It's pretty good from him. In the open, he is better, and we've over-invested in infiltration units and so on. It's weird that we haven't spotted this guy yet. Uh, get, get yet another one. Oh, no. Oh, no, I don't have smoke. Because <laughs> I used it. He's done something else. Yeah. French nose gun moment. There's somebody we need to deal with. And he hit me as well, so I'm down for nine minutes now. Hang on. Yeah. Eight, eight minutes, eight minutes. 
So we're we're out here, so we need to try and get back in here. Uh, yeah, if he takes the middle, that's obviously going to be a problem. It's weird. I, I'm missing a lot these days. That's sixty-five percent. Looks like he hasn't noticed yet, but. So I, I noped out there as well. I need to spend my points, I'm not spending my points. Because yes, this does represent a problem. If he pushes me out of here, I'll lose my one lead. Hopefully he's not. Yeah, there we go. So we get, get free, free shit. Thank you. Oh no, that's a shame, but he will survive. <laughs> right, well let's push back here because obviously he's not got that much here. At least we could assume so from the fact that this is here. Ah oh, yes, we're going to lose that. He might lose the SU though. Two Roland hits, bit unlucky for him. But I did get, I did get unlucky before. We know his cub's down, so we can pursue because we shot his cub. Oh no, the Mig. Ah, oh, I should have, I should have dived it. But yeah, it's it's all about the RNG on these these missiles because it's forty percent. But I've I've got ECM. I have twenty percent ECM. But but the minimum accuracy is twenty percent anyway. You know the minimum accuracy when you take into account ECM. So otherwise, yeah, all day, right? These guys don't have AT. So I guess I'll buy another one. I mean. Never have enough, I suppose. Especially if he's going to fly it like that. I mean, he's just asking for it. At this range, the auto cannons could actually take out the tanks. Oh no, he's on my six. Why is this still in the map? Fly me. So yeah, this won't kill him, but it'll, you know, it makes him unhappy. So he had a really good thing going on there, but not enough moto strokey. Like a moto strokey, and that would have killed both of those, but instead he had the other one. Don't want to mess with that. Oh, okay. Last, upper last Ramirez, make it count. So yeah, I get the infiltration of an infiltration division, the front line of a front line division, the sustain of a sustain division, the spam of a of a reservist division, and the uh, the air of an airborne division. So you know, it's it's really something. It really makes me think. Really jogs my noggin. We can shoot this guy at the side, then it's basically GG. Huh. Next plan is to try and take this down here. So for that we need recon and a. Yeah, we got him in the back because he was moving. Advancing is difficult, you need recon in front and your recon dies first and then you got to stop and go back. So I do feel for him. See if we can find this as well. So we kill that too. Still not got another cub up, has he? Motor struck your BMP. Oh, so he doesn't one shot you in the front. So it must have been a side shot or something last time. But yeah, you see, AMX in forest. No, no, no. This is the cheap one as well, the 10 front armor one. Han moment. And yeah, he's realized that without infantry support, it's not good doing that. 
think that makes repairing or something. Oh, okay. Whoa. So yeah, the BMP2 should beat the Vabs in a one-to-one -one fight, but it's not one-to-one. -one. I got first shot off, and I got AMX, you know, and, and I've got an AMX 30 beat. Auto cannon gaming. Everybody's got the auto cannons. Oh, and we got his MIG. I guess it flew over this Roland. Whoa. Yeah, one seventy uh, ninth is a like a very scaling division at the start. They're not amazing, but that's another cub, another two cubs. At the start, they're not amazing, but the, if you are allowed to bring up a big blob, then let's see if this works. If, obviously, if he gets the first hit off, then I'll die. So I've already lost half my health. Um, but you know, I can't remember the point I was making. Yeah, because because he's not had time to build up. This is the natural result of that, basically. I think there's still that guy over there, maybe. This is exciting. I mean, I don't want him to hit me. <laughs> that sounds strange, but... Oh, I'm floating. Sorry, I, I do that when I play this division, I just sort of fall asleep. There's no real need to concentrate. <laughs> so yeah, these are good in forest, but you need something in front of them, really. And they will get this guy eventually, there's just so many of them. Oh, that sort of makes these guys a bit useless. Oh no, I should have, should have kept them around. And yeah, I've been lethargic in doing this. These guys should be moved up, really. I should have a, this dragon pirate should be down here. Should be pushing this side too. Should be pushing this guy forwards. Trying to figure out where all these guys are. No, I didn't have the smoke. And yeah, I should be pushing these guys forwards. Should be trying to. Right, his recon is very good considering. Oh right, so there was just somebody right here. <laughs> Smoke that. So. Oof, wasn't fast enough. That to refuel. Here we go. Get some more OP tanks. There he is. Okay. Put this guy here then. Osas he's brought up, so there wasn't cubs before, it was Osas. Oh no! No! Ah, that's a shame, the second one would have got him anywhere, anyway. So, you know, it's not it's not a luck thing, the second one would have got him. Uh, that was weird, the way they shoot these is a bit odd. But they get two, so, try and get that. Uh, let's so get a thought over here, get this guy out. Got lots of planes. Yeah, one one hit, and the last one got one hit, and they're 50, 60 percent. So that that's perfectly reasonable, really. The yeah, Osas are going to be an issue. <laughs> the hell, man! <laughs> Why do I have so many planes? And we're not even going to get him because we didn't give ourselves enough time. I didn't want to fly over those Osas too much. Uh. Yeah, he's getting a bit unlucky there. I guess that was something to do with... You know, if you've got your guys on attack move, when they, when they spawn in the air, the anti-air, don't do that, don't do that, because as soon as the plane flies out of the range of the anti-air, usually what happens is it keeps the shot going, but if you're on attack move, he starts moving straight away, and then he doesn't keep the shot going. I hope I've explained that eloquently enough. When you see air fly towards your anti-air that's on an attack move order because it's just spawned in or whatever full stop your anti-air press e e to stop 
E for emergency break, I guess. I don't know. And yeah, he can't really bring units in. He has to use the helicopters. It's, it's really something. What happened to that med squad? Is he still over here? Oh, he's used seven bullets, so no, he's not. He's killed seven men, and that's enough for a med squad. Uh, send this guy over here. And he is, he is over here. Uh, let's let's get let's get a build up for taking this town as well. And yeah, we've taken this zone. Don't yeah, that Metis guy died, didn't he? If you put them here, they can just shoot as they come down. So, I think red has the harder side in this forest. But blue has the harder side in this town because obviously, wow, obviously he starts with a town, so pushing him out of here is actually really difficult. Whereas pushing the guy out of this is is less difficult. Obviously, you have the problem that if you advance here, you get shot there. But you can sort of sweep this and just take this. Can't remember which motor stroke he gets the really good A two. Uh, yeah, I don't have the seed in my deck. Mm. Oh, okay. It's bound to happen eventually. I think he might run out of CVs, you know. There he is. What is that? A Tunguska? <laughs> yeah, it's a cub. Cub. Oh yeah, another epic strat. You know you can just zoom in and look at what it is. I don't know, everybody probably knows that from Wargame, right? But yeah, you can see what it is when it's black. I mean, yeah. Uh, he's ranked 37th, right? So don't act like this was some kind of seal stomp, right? He's one of the best players in the game. He's got 700... And 60, 759 ranked games. That's more than me. I'm a noob. I'm a noob. 10? That means 10 games played. Uh, anyway, let's not labour the point. He's a great player, and he's playing a great division. It's just 5e is broken. So yeah, AMX is... AMX is... Everything's called AMX, so... You know, just, just look. And yeah, he's rank rank thirty four, or what what have you. So, very good player. What happened there? I guess it was the guys that were at the side. Oh, it's this one guy, Dak Dakin. Uh, APM of like seventeen, <laughs> and Mister Mister Dakin here gets gets lots of kills maps like black forest obviously favor a mobility division anyway i'm also a mobility division by the way in addition to being a tank division an infantry division an airborne division um a reservist division i'm also uh, i'm also a a mobility division anyway uh, gg